Number 1 Old Town The spirit of George Washington lives on in the streets of Old Town Alexandria. You can feel it when stepping across smooth cobblestones and old red brick sidewalks, and when you pass by his Masonic Memorial, Carlisle House, or the Black History Museum. Number 2 George Washington Masonic National Memorial The George Washington Masonic National Memorial is an enormous, magnificent memorial to President George Washington. The memorial is a museum, a library, a research center, a concert hall, and a community center. Freemasons constructed the memorial. Number 3 Torpedo Factory Art Center The Torpedo Factory Art Center is a beloved workplace for many of Alexandria's artists. This former ammunition plant was converted into an art center in 1974 and now contains 82 artist studios, two workshop spaces, seven galleries, as well as the Alexandria Archaeology Museum. Number 4 Stabler Leadbeater Apothecary Museum Walking into the Stabler Leadbeater Apothecary Museum is like walking into Alexandria circa 1805 when Marta Washington, or Robert E. Lee came to the shop in search of a headache remedy or a cure for the common cold. This apothecary, or pharmacy as we call it today. Number 5 Carlisle House just across the street from Alexandria's City Hall in the heart of Old Town lies an elegant, almost fairy tale like house that John Carlyle built for his lovely bride Sarah Fairfax in 1793. He was a wealthy British merchant, she was from a prominent colonial Virginia family. Number 6 Gadsby's Tavern Museum Some things never change, and we know that more business gets done in bars and restaurants than around conference tables. The same principle held true in the late 18th century, when Gadsby's Tavern and City Hotel served as a popular location for local organizations. Number 7 Woodlawn Plantation and Pope Leggy House There could be no two more different architectural masterpieces than Woodlawn and Frank Lloyd Wright's Pope Leggy House. Nevertheless, they are both located on the National Trust for Historic Preservation land in historic Alexandria. Number 8 Jones Point Lighthouse The Jones Point Lighthouse served as an important navigational aid for those traveling along the Potomac River during the period from 1856 to 1926 when the lighthouse was in operation. The river was known for its shifting underwater shoals that threatened ships on their way to Alexandria. Number 9 River Farm George Washington is considered to be one of the first American great gardeners and horticulturists so it is appropriate that the farm he bought in 1760 now belongs to the American Horticultural Society and serves as its headquarters. It is comprised of 25 acres. Number 10 Mount Vernon Few individuals have made such an enormous impact on the world and its history as George Washington and visiting his plantation home and seeing the place where he spent some of the most significant moments of his life is a rare privilege. Hope you like this video for more videos please subscribe to our channel.